Hello and welcome back to another Space Engineers Showcase video. In today's video, we're looking at another custom turret. And this thing sitting right behind me is called the Autocannon CIWS Battery version 1, which is this lovely thing right here. So this is a very easy to build, very easy to deploy point defense system that uses two autocannons. It's got a custom weapon controller inside it, along with a custom script to allow it to fully target enemies like an actual turret. So the main purpose of this is to basically lock down an area from small threats. Say you're building an area like I am right now, but you're constantly being attacked by drones, you could pop up a couple of these to hopefully deter the enemy from coming closer, or to simply shoot them down. Pressing F10 and finding it in the spawn menu, the auto cannon is 56 small blocks using none of the DLC packs. We can also see a lot of very useful information about it on the Steam Workshop page, such as how to set it up and to control all the settings for it, but I'll go through that in just a minute. So we'll go and give this thing a thumbs up, come all the way around like so, we'll have a very brief look around the outside. I don't really think I have to do this because it's very self-explanatory with what's going on with it. But anyway, here we go. So at the very front here, this is what we get. We've got two auto cannons to blast your enemies with, and that comes all the way across over to this section right here, which features a bunch of grey steel blocks. Behind these grey steel blocks is a custom turret controller, as well as an antenna and everything it needs to actually properly work. We've got rotors, we've got hinges, which allow it to move up and down and spin all the way around to make sure it can properly track its targets. If you were to come all the way down to its base, you'll be able to see the rotor right there of how it's going to spin around. And down to here, we've got some legs to go onto some magnetic plates, so you could have a bunch of ships come and drop off a bunch of these into position before you actually land down and start doing what you need to do. All the way around towards the very back there, you can see the controller right there, and there's the antenna on top. If you were to come all the way down and underneath, that's all we get, which so is the bottom of the magnetic plates and all the steel blocks. And all the way up and above and looking down, there is a battery to power this thing, and there is a hinge to move it up and down. So one thing to bear in mind, if you are using this in survival mode, say you build this out of a projector, you will need to make sure this is charged up, so you will have to attach this onto a powered grid and set the battery to recharge before you deploy them. That is that for the outside, so I just bring the camera all the way inside so we can get a sneaky look at what's going on. There is a controller right there, there is our battery, and all the way down to here, there we go, that's just the rotor and steel blocks. So it's a very simple system, and it should work very, very well. So just grabbing hold of my character, what we're going to do is just jetpack all the way up to here, and I'll show you how to set this thing up and how to use it. In fact, we'll just spawn in a brand new one, we'll just throw it down like that, and it should clamp into place. Once it spawns in, hopefully if it spawns in, there it is, and now it's ready to go, essentially. So we just fly all the way up to it, come to this control panel, then we're going to find the turret parameters. Clicking on this and then coming over to show block in terminal, we'll then get some more options down here. And what we want is the custom turret controller. And this is going to give us all the useful stuff of how we're going to tell the turret what to target, and of course, its range. We don't have to worry about any of this stuff right here. We want to come all the way down over to here. So this is the aiming radius, so we can go up to 600 meters. And all the way down to here, we can change our target of what we want to go for. And down at the very bottom, we also got a more pinpoint accurate targeting system of if you want it to target weapons, propulsion, or power systems. And that's that for what it looks like and how you set it up. It's a very handy blueprint to have around if you do want a very easy to build point defense system before you can actually get a proper turret system set up and ready. So what I'll do now is just come over to here. We're going to spawn in a few more turrets. We're going to just go and drop one right there. Go and drop one right over there. And let's say one more over to there. That'll do. Now we're going to fly all the way away from this turret because it's time to demonstrate what they can do. So we'll just come, in fact, we won't do that just yet. I'll just spawn one up and above it so you can see the damage they deal. And I know the perfect candidate to spawn in. Here we are, the Dex Fighter. I haven't used this in a demonstration for such a long time. So just go and bring this like so. There we are. And then once it spawns in, I'll give it to the Space Pirates. And then we can watch these turrets go and blast it. And there goes the turrets. Now I'm going to start shooting it. And they should deal a nice lot of damage. They should disable the thrusters first of all, because that's what they've all been set up. And down goes the Dex Fighter. And we get to a close look over here. It looks like they have stopped firing. So we're just going to spawn in a brand new one much closer, and we'll take a look at their barrels and how they're spinning around. So here we go once again. They're now turned all the way around, and that's how the turrets are looking. So just firing the top one, then the bottom one. 
and then making short work of a small fighter. So like I said at the very start, it's only going to be useful for drones coming over. Anything large like a battleship or even just a large small block ship, these are not going to do too great. Yes, they will be quite useful in large numbers, but if you only have one or two, then you might be in a bit of a pickle. So now what we can do is another proper little test. We just come all the way over to here so we'll be out of range and we'll do a drive-by. So you can see what we can do as a fast-moving target. So all the way up to here, this should be a nice protected area. And I'll go and spawn in a brand new one. I'm pretty sure I just saw lightning over there. Let's hope it doesn't strike this poor little fighter. And so here we go. We're now going to fly over the auto cannons for a quick little fast run. And here comes all the shots. So moving fast, they are starting to target those thrusters at the back there. But it looks like we might be able to escape with our life. One thruster is offline. It looks like I am starting to go down. And yes, a fast moving target does seem to be an issue for these turrets. But then again, at the end of the day, it does work as a fantastic deterrent. I can't go back to them. I can't even get close to them or even slow down and start shooting them. So it's doing a fantastic job. So now we just come all the way back over here and fly nice and low here. I'm going to actually switch to the weapons, which there we are. We're going to now activate the Gatling guns. We're going to come all the way forwards. There's one of them in distance. I might just slam into the ground here. I don't think I have the actual thruster capability. We're just going to have to bounce all the way across it. And here we go. Now we're going to start pummeling this. And there we go. And that is pretty much it for the Autocannon CIWS Battery V1 has to offer. It's a fantastic little point defense system if you are looking for something small, easy to produce to lock down an area. And I suppose for one final test, one silly final test is, I'm going to make a gigantic field of these, then I'll spawn in the good old Albatross and we'll see how well that goes. So unfortunately I wasn't able to spawn in the Albatross jump ship, which would have been spectacular to fly over all those turrets. The problem was, all the turrets are set to target small blocks only, and I forgot to change that once I mass spawned them in. So we're going to have to use this one instead, and we're just going to fly all the way over it to see what kind of mess I have created with all of these turrets. So here we go all the way around, and from the frame rate, here it comes! Oh my god, look at all those shots coming through! We are being deleted slowly, ever so slowly. We can- oh god, I think the game broke. Nope, it's recovered. And here we go, we're now, I'm actually really surprised I'm still flying here. But look at all of those shots coming past here, that is absolutely terrifying. And, well, there goes the back of the ship, I can no longer turn it. And we're simply going to fall, and we're miraculously dodging all the shots coming past. And that is that for the Auto Cannon CIWS battery, which is one hell of a lot of fun to play around with. And it seems like... The ship has just been deposited underneath the ground. We can come all the way back around over to here. The turrets are still... are still shooting at something. I'm not sure what you're shooting at. Please stop my frame rate. Anyway, thank you all for watching, and I'll be back with another video some point soon. Bye bye.